And I tell you what, Wednesday, there was news happening all over the league, uh, including these three, Chris Paul, uh, with a positive COVID test, now in health and safety protocols. Stan Van Gundy, fired after one year by the Pelicans. Scott Brooks had been with the Wiz for five years, couldn't come to an agreement on a contract extension, so that job is now open. We have uh, sound on all three of those stories, starting with Phoenix head coach Monty Williams. There's a natural concern for other person, and that's basically where it ends. Everybody's dealing with it. If you look around the league, Philly's got a situation. The Clippers have a situation now. Utah's had one for a while. Like, everybody's dealing with it. Right now, we're just in a situation where all we can do is practice and, and wait to see what happens. You know, there's a goal in front of us, and we're focused on that, and and we're hoping and praying that we'll be whole again uh, before we play game one. I think it worked out well. You know, for, for five years, I think there was a, in terms of the, the growth and the, the culture that he installed and the things that he was about, certainly those will be here moving forward. He, he leaves big footprints in that regard for those five years that didn't show up always in the column that is the most dear to everybody's heart is winning, certainly. But in terms of what he's done, I, I, again, Scott, I'm focusing forward and where we need to be. So I wouldn't say it didn't work out. I just think it's time to move on. This is a person who believed in what we were doing here and wanted to be part of building a family that loves each other enough to tell each other what they need to hear. We reached the point where it was clear we didn't believe philosophically in the way we are going to progress from where we are today to where we want to go. So that's what this decision is. This is something that was very, very difficult to execute, but it revealed itself over some very open, um, candid conversations. With a really, really good man. All right. So uh, let's start with those coach that coaching situation. Um, why didn't it work out with Stan Van Gundy with New Orleans? <clears throat> I have no idea. I mean, I, I guess the expectations. Coaching, when it doesn't work out, is all about expectations. Where, do, where did you expect yourself to be? You know, um, if you come out of, um, I, I, think, I think the bubble really revealed a lot. Because there were a bunch of young teams in there that revealed themselves and they're still playing, some of them. You know, we're talking about Donovan Mitchell. You know, they, Utah revealed themselves in there. Uh, Denver, Phoenix. Phoenix. They revealed themselves in that bubble. And it also made everyone else says, well, well, damn, don't we, we have the kind of talent like theirs. We should be close to them at least. And I think this is a, a kind of continuation of the bubble. Like those young teams who, who emerged and the ones that submerged. And so, um, to me, that's what this looks like. And the, and the, and the Pelicans submerged this year. They didn't, they didn't take a step uh, in the right direction in terms of school. Go ahead, Shaq. You know, you always hear the term, this generation is different. I have the opportunity to play for Stan a long time ago. And it comes from the Pat Riley regime of things. Very focused, need to be disciplined, doesn't like joking around. Very, ah, 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 ah. And I don't know if this, this generation can handle that. You know, Stan's a guy that, that he's very serious. He, he's, he's probably one of the best X and O guys I've had in the league. He's, he knows every play. He knows what you're going to do. He wants you to do this. He wants you to do that. If you don't do it a certain way, sometimes he gets frustrated. I don't know if the new generation can handle that. Uh, so, and, so, and, that and that's and, where I was going to go right, with it, too, Shay. Right. I don't think it had anything to do with the bubble. Stan's a, number one, he was terrific on television, worked with us for yeah. a minute. But I think he's just too old school for those young kids. This, the game's changed. Like, every time we say the thing or do the thing, we're the old get off my lawn guys. And Stan, to me, I would love to play for him in my day, uh, just like I played for Billy Cunningham. Billy Cunningham, who's the best coach I've ever had, no disrespect to Rudy, Tom Janovich, Jim Lynham, two of my favorite coaches, guys like that. Billy Cunningham was the best coach I played for. He didn't take any crap off anybody. He'd lead Dr. J and Moses. He's like, we're we leaving at 10? We're leaving at 10. We're not leaving at 10 one He lead those guys. And then I played for coaches who are weight on players, which pissed me off beyond belief. And these young kids 
Number one, they have so much power. They make so much money. It's easier to get rid of the coach. You know, remember when Monty Williams said the other night, he says, you know, me and Chris Paul have come a long way. We butted heads in the beginning because I was a coach. I want to do things my way, and I have grown and matured as a coach. And Monty's a terrific coach. But I don't know if Stan, because like Shaq said, I don't know if he would, wanted to change with these young kids. And you got to do that now because they're in, they're in control. And the Wizards had a, uh, you know, they were, what, 13th in the East and, and kind of a forgotten team. And then they put this good run together. Westbrook and Beal are playing great. They get into the play-in. They make their way into the playoffs. They get knocked out in the first round. Um, well, this one was painful for me because I played with Scott Brooks. Both of us did. Yeah. Uh, but he's been a great friend to me for a long time. You hate to see your friends get fired. Um, and, and that was just unfortunate. But listen, man, uh, I think Tommy said it best. We in the W's and L's business. That's what we're in. But uh, Scott's a great friend. He's had a great coaching career, and he's been a couple places, and I wish him nothing but the best. And on the Chris Paul front... Um, What's the rule uh, on that? Uh, hmm? What's the rule on that? What's the rule on that? Yeah. Okay, so here's, here's the situation. So he's... And it's interesting, too, because Chris is vaccinated. Um, he tested positive. And so the health and safety protocol calls for 10-day quarantine. But if he is able to have two negative tests, you know, 24 hours apart, then he can go to, into cardiac testing, and then he can be cleared to play. Mm -hmm. So it, it could be 10 days, but it could be fewer than Well, let me ask you this question. If the Clippers win the next game, when would the, what, it would start. It would start Sunday, Ooh. so it, it's, it would be more advantageous from a Phoenix standpoint for that game, for that series to go seven and start on Tuesday, um, which would give a little more time for Chris Paul. But they're supposed to update his situation on Saturday. But that's yeah, that's so where if, we if stand. If he's updated right on there. Saturday, they're praying, as Monty said, that he tests negative. Yeah, uh, two days in a row. You know. Well, that would be the first, and yeah. so that would be the end. And then you've got to do the cardiac testing, which the takes, takes another uh, a day, day, day or two. So day he has two, three, yeah. three days. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday would probably. So Tuesday. No, but it, no, but I'm saying it, it would be eligible Tuesday. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying, saying but it early, starts on Sunday. Sunday then you're talking yeah, the first about game is at the earliest he would miss. Yeah, at the earliest, uh, you know, they would, you know, he could be ready Monday. That's the earliest he could be available. I know, but I'm saying the first. That's game what it sounds. But I'm saying if if the Clippers win the next game. The series will start on Sunday, is yeah. my point. Let, let, yeah, let's see. Let's so see. we will, yeah. We have, but uh, all of our best to Chris Paul. Yeah, Chris. You know, and um, we will see how that plays out. And, again, the update on, on his status will be on Saturday.